Uh, Paul, what's your reaction to, to that game this afternoon? It was obviously a very tough game. Um, we were hoping they might be a wee bit tired after our European game, but they, they were bang on it today. Sometimes when you play against a team that's as good as that, impressive as that, then you've just got to put your hands up. But I think we can take a lot of confidence from the fact we scored two goals in the second half. We never, we never gave in, never chucked it, if you like. Um, showed great heart and determination, but ultimately in the end, maybe mistakes have cost us. It uh, must have been hard going in at half-time, three goals down. What was the manager saying to you in the dressing room? We were obviously very disappointed. St Johnston done well against Celtic last year. Um, we were looking to contain them, stay in the game as long as possible. When you go three down, it's always hard to take. Maybe deserving, I don't know, we need to watch it back, but I know we never created too much in the first half. Possession was poor, made mistakes, so maybe it was a fair result. And just Essentially, what was the team doing in the second half that wasn't doing in the first half? Well, just obviously we had nothing to lose. We were three goals down. Um, the least we wanted to come in was 3 0 down at uh, full time. So let's go and have a go. We'll see what happens. Um, ultimately, we scored two goals, conceded another, but um, I don't know if there'll be too many teams that will take points off Celtic this year. Um, get a lot of pride back in that second half. And did you feel when Stephen McLean got that second goal that Saints could have got an equaliser? Well, that's seven. It goes 3 2. You always hope you can nick another goal, but again for the fourth goal, we were slack again. <laughs> We've killed ourselves a wee bit, um, not just putting the ball along, but these things happen. Um, we'll take the second half spirited performance into next week. We know we can score a couple of goals against Celtic, we'll take that into next week. And against a Celtic team that high press and lots of running, just what was it like to actually play, play against them today? Oh, they were they done obviously really good today. Um, when you think you had one man in the hole, there was another man six yards to the right, six yards to the left. That's what happens when you pay millions of pounds for players. They're clever players. If you give them too much respect, they'll, they'll hurt you. Um, maybe in the first half, we did show them a wee bit too much respect. Um, gave them too much space to play. When you give good players time, they'll kill you. Um, this is St Johnston's biggest test of the, the season so far. So there's a lot that's been learned going into the rest of the campaign. There is. What we've learned, we'll keep within the dressing room. Um, but we know we're a decent side. Four points from three games are... It's a decent start, we've played three of the top six last year, I think that is, in the first three games, so four points isn't bad, um, we'll look to pick up more points in the coming weeks. Uh, Richard Foster arrived yesterday from Ross County, what did you make of his debut? I thought he'd done well, um, it was always going to be hard for him, he didn't know any of the boys, uh, how about the boys play, he's came in, and he's, his debut's against boys at Sinclair, so he's an experienced pro, I thought he stood up well, um, and he'll only get better from here. Um, when those defenders that are injured just now come back into the team, there's going to be so much competition for places like there is in, in midfield and, and now defence. Well, that's it. Boys will do, boys will do well to make the, the sub bench when everyone's fit, but um, it only bodes well for the, the, the team, the club. Um, we're looking to have another successful season, finish top six, and having a squad like we've got, um, it should serve as well. Uh, yourself, how much are you enjoying life at Maidurham Park? I'm loving it. It was obviously tough to take today, um, tough game. But um, I'm looking to play more games. I think it's only my first game in the league. So I'm looking to kick, uh, kick on for here and hopefully play more, uh, play more games. Just finally, uh, looking to next week away to Inverness. Another tough game. Um, you know we get up there. It's always hard going up there. We've got a lot of big boys you need to battle well with them. Um, but we'll take our second half performance, or at least the two goals, take the spirit from that um, and push on. Cheers, Paul. Thank you. Cheers, thank you.